Hey guys, this is the Tunator, and I'm here today to show you how to become a werewolf in Skyrim. So, uh, yeah, as you can guess, werewolf and, uh, becoming a werewolf is uh, they're pretty cool. There's a, a quest line you have to do it that, uh, it's really not that hard. So, uh, to, what you have to do is you have to go to, uh, if we're going to look at the map, you have to go to uh, Whiterun the City, which is right here. It's pretty much uh, directly north of uh, Helgen, which is where you start out, and River Riverwood, which is the, the kind of the starting city or town that the main quest I need to. So you go to Helgen or Whiterun. No, sorry, you go to the Companions, which are they are located in this hall. At the, you can see this is kind of looking down out over the city. They are located in this kind of you know hall-looking thing right here. It's called Yorvaskar or something. Jorvaskar, uh, I don't know, I can't really pronounce it. So you go up in here, you, you talk to them, and you can, you, you have to do the companion quest line uh, for their, their guild, uh, basically. So th there's a whole bunch of stuff you have to run through. There's a, what you have to do though, you go through the quest line, you have to do like the start and fetch quest they give you, you have to do the, uh, a quest that, that you'll be sent down into a, a dungeon, I believe it's uh, Shimmer Mist Grotto. Here, you have to clear that or cave, and then you need what you do after that is uh, you're told to go. You, you have to uh, find just get the fragment of the uh, the blade of Ysgrimor, which is uh, you do that here in uh, or Dustman's car, and that's where you find out that the companions are actually werewolves. All of the higher level companions are all werewolves, so they're just kind of they're secretly werewolves. People don't even know about that. And then what you do is, uh, so after you complete uh, all the the main, uh, you do this, you become a member of the companions of this quest. Then you do this quest from Ayla, or I think I'm not sure if you have to do this particular quest. You may be able to just work from anyone, but definitely just just do this one because it's it's known to work. You just go kill the wolves, which is actually kind of funny and considering they're werewolves. But then you come back. Uh, she'll tell you to go talk to Skor, and he'll give you uh, this quest, the Silver Hand which is where they turn you into a werewolf. So you just you just come here at night, and then you go in here to do this little uh, ceremony. And you can see there's Ayla right there, and she's a werewolf. A pitiful ceremony behind the hall does not befit warriors like us. You are due more honor I actually haven't heard him say this before. I would hope you recognize Ayla, even in this world. She's agreed to be your forebear. Do this in pretty badass, in my opinion. Is too busy trying to throw away this great gift we've been granted. He thinks we've been cursed. We've been blessed. How can something that gives this kind of prowess be a curse? So we take matters into our own hands. To reach the heights of the companions, you must join with us in the shared blood of the wolf. Are you prepared to join your spirit with the beast world, friend? So, you know, you can say, what if I don't want to be a werewolf? I don't even know what happens there, because honestly, why would you not want to be a werewolf? It's awesome, as I'll show you. It, it, it's, it's pretty freaking cool. So, you tell him yes. He's going to put her blood in the basin there. Naturally, you have to drink it. See if he says anything. I'm, I'm not sure if he. Nope. You just use it. All right, and then uh, this will put us outside immediately as a werewolf. I'll show you the transformation and some of the stuff later. But right now, you can just rampage around uh, White Run. As you'll see, uh, you can't you can't use any character menus at all, which is a little lame in my opinion. But that's Aelin. We're not going to kill him because he's awesome. Also, uh, yeah, you can do this kind of like galloping run thing. Werewolves have actually not a good jump at all, which is very surprising. So we're gonna. You also, if you can hit Z to do a kind of battle roar, which just makes it's incredibly powerful. It's, it doesn't even have much stamina cost and uh, makes everyone flee from you. You hit E to feed on bodies like that, which heals you. Werewolves do not seem to have great natural inborn re regeneration. For what I've seen, you can hold on attack to do a power attack where you hit twice. And yeah, these are the critical kills, or the, the just the, they're crazy cool. Alright, so let's find more people to murder. I apologize, it's a little hard to start. And feeding extends your, your bullets. As I'll show you in a bit, this this is a once a day power, but if you feed, it extends the amount you can, uh, your, your transformation time, basically. Crap, alright, yeah. So now I'm going to transform back, and, uh, 
Yeah, so that's how you become a werewolf. I'm going to give a bit a bigger uh, demo of the powers now. Alright, so we're here doing the first quest, uh, after becoming a werewolf with the companions, and I just want to show you the werewolf power and how the specifics of that work. So you go to magic, like, uh, and it is under powers, like your racial power. It is a once-a-day effect, uh, and as you can see, it's a beast form. So the, the transformation itself is entirely voluntary. I've just I've just gotten this. I wanted to show you guys how to do this immediately. So I am not sure if there's any drawbacks uh, from what I've seen so far. I don't think it's pos uh, or it has. I haven't seen it. I haven't been. Uh, I've run around at night. And I have not been turned into a werewolf. There do not seem to be really any adverse effects from turning into a werewolf. It's just a once a day power. So you you just equip it like so, and then we're gonna gonna run forward. Uh, find these people. And you hit Z to use your power and transform, which is a pretty cool looking animation. And then again, one of the the best powers you have in, in werewolf form is uh, Z for the, the combat roar. And we'll just uh, I'll show off how werewolves work some more because it's pretty cool. You can feed on the bodies for more health and to extend your your transformation time. So let's go find more people to kill. There's a dead one, isn't there? Sorry, it's kind of dark in here. Tough to see. Oh, that's the wrong way, isn't it? Some can't separate the animal from themselves. Look feral. This poor sod could have been any. We should keep moving. No surprise. And yeah, you can you can right hand attack and left hand attack with both your claws. We're gonna feed to extend the uh, the bloodlust. They don't attack you while you're feeding sometimes, which is weird. But I really want to get one of the uh, the critical kill things to play against. They're so cool. Uh, but not seeming to have much luck with that. Yeah, the roar is in it's incredibly powerful. And from what I can determine, it's more or less just completely at will. And, and there's like there doesn't give you any real negative penalties to doing it. It's just, it's just super powerful, so... Alright, so I'm going to give uh, another more extended comment than we hear, because it with God Mode on this time, so, uh... I don't get killed, because as I was saying, as you can see, it's, uh, unfortunately... There is no natural inbuilt health regeneration, so it's pretty easy to... Let's see if I can feed on this body. <coughs> it's, it's pretty easy still to get killed, which it, it makes it pretty balanced, but... You gotta be careful. I, I do wish it, it was, there's a bit more generation of myself, because for a once-a-day power, it doesn't really feel super strong. Alright, let's get a critical kill here, hopefully. And yeah, the werewolf attacks can just send people to fall. This, you're, these are pretty cool. I, I'm a huge, big fan. Oh, yeah. Yep, in here, sorry the table's in the way, but what just happened is I would just push him to the ground and ate him. It, it's pretty brutal. Alrighty. Feed again, and again, the, the feed heals you. Yep, there it is. Like you just you just push them to the ground and eat them. I have also seen one where uh, you literally eat their head. Like you lift them up and you just you eat their head. It's uh it's pretty terrifying. But yep, there it is again. And then again, these are just the critical kills. Like it, you, you rip off their head, which I, I have not seen in. I haven't seen like any other gift effects in this game so far. So that was pretty awesome. I thought. Alrighty. Battle Roar, which is just super powerful. They make it as much use of that as you possibly can. It affects even some higher level enemies uh, that shouts weren't working on. And it seems to have a, a pretty low cooldown as well, so if there even is one. As long as you have a decent enough group of enemies, you can just keep pretty much tearing through them and... Oh, damn it. Yeah, the camera still needs a, a little work. But there's, yeah, this, this is like the, the boss of the dungeon, and you can see Roar works. Like, it, it works perfectly. It's such a crazy powerful move. I'm going to bait him back up into the open area here so you can see a little better. 
Where did I go? Get on the bodies so we can keep killing these fools. Pull back up the stairs. Come on, guys. Come on. Hey, damn it, Awa. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. There we go. I do have God Mode on so I can show you guys what this is without, you know, dying horribly and ruining the whole point of the, uh, the video. So I do not normally play with God Mode on, nor do I advise that. But it is what it is. Oh, there we go. Okay. Excellent. See, see were werewolves are pretty freaking brutal. Uh, let's go kill the rest of these guys and then I'll... Call it a oh, yeah, here it is. Oh, never mind. I thought that was going to be one where he rips his head off. Just threw him against the wall. Yeah, werewolves have seen to have like five or six different critical kill animations. Which is pretty fantastic. Let's kill the last person. Yep, alright. Yeah, you're dead. So yeah, that's how to become a werewolf in Skyrim and just some of the benefits of being a werewolf. Again, it appears to be like... Uh, just a once-a-day power at will with pretty much no negative drawbacks from what I can see. You still can be killed pretty easily, but uh, it's just it's a lot of fun. You you, know, you can run really fast, and it's very cool. So uh, before I go, just one favor to ask from you guys. Uh, my friend is for School Project. He has to do this. He's doing this website for the the Dota 2 beta. He's putting up screenshots and stuff. So you know, link's gonna be in the description. If you could just take a look, I'd be much obliged. It's it's pretty bad, but it's for a project. So help him out. All right. Thanks for watching, and have fun being a vicious monster. And you know, just kind of tearing apart whatever comes in your way. It is pretty freaking awesome. This is the Tuninator, and I'll see you all later.